Hello all, welcome to another quick learning. Today we're going back to Code Signal to work on the Python coding exercises. If you're joining this in the middle of the playlist, I'll put a link in the description below so you can start from the beginning if you wish. Otherwise I'm getting started, so I'm going to go to the arcade. Python. We're still in the slithering and string section, and now we're at number 19, new style formatting. So you came to work in a big company as a senior Python developer. Unfortunately, your team members seem to be quite old school. You can see old school string formatting everywhere in the code, which is not too cool. You tried to force the team members to start using the new style formatting, but it looks like it will take some time to persuade them. Old habits die hard, especially, uh, sorry, especially in old school programmers. To show your colleagues that the new style formatting is not that different from the old style, you decided to implement a function that will turn the old style syntax into a new one. Implement a function that will turn the old style uh, string formatting S into a new one so that the following two strings have the same meaning. So in the old formatting, you would have a, a string and then a percent, and then you'd put the, the arguments in here and it would replace, uh, for instance, this percent %s with the first percent %f, the first argument here. So this star just means there can be any number of arguments. So the new format is you put the string, and then you do dot .format, and then you put the arguments. Um, so here's the old style. So here it would replace this percent %f with the first argument, because it's the first one in the, the string. And then this percent percent means you replace this with a percent. Um, so in the new format, uh, instead of this percent f, you put these uh, curly braces. And then you can just put the percent like normal, and then you do the rest of the string. So what they want you to do is convert this type of string format to this. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to import uh, this RE package, which stands for regular expressions. It has a function called sub, which will be useful in this case. So I'm going to take uh, the string that's passed into the function, and I'm going to use uh, the sub function to take any percent percent and replace it with this curly brace percent and then this is just the, the string that goes into that function. And then I'm going to do another replace, or a sub, I'm sorry. Um, anytime there's a percent and then a character that's not a percent, so that the percent sense already been replaced, but if there's percent and then there's one character that's in this uh, list here, then it will replace that with the curly braces. So this percent %f will be replaced here by these two curly braces. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take wherever I put this percent curly brace percent, and I'm going to replace that with a percent, and that will be what I return. So in this, I replaced it with this, and now I'm taking that and replacing with that. And the reason I am doing that is because, uh, so if you look at test 3 here. So if I just do this right away, this percent %s is going to be replaced by the curly braces, and so what it's going to return is percent curly braces we have here. And that's not what we want. So what we're supposed to get is this percent percent uh, translates to a percent sign, and this s just stays how it is. All right, so if we run the test, you'll see that's all correct. So I hope you guys are able to follow that, um, and I hope you guys join me for future videos. Thank you very much.